Here we presents the top 5 best mini projectors. Starting at number 5, the Lefis W90. The Lefis W90 is one of the best mini projectors under $100. We're aware that Alephas isn't as well known as the other brands on the market. This is why it's surprising to see the device exceed other brands in terms of quality and versatility. At its best quality, the Lefis W90 can project a 120-inch image. You can increase it up to 236 inches if needed, but the image clarity will be reduced when you extend the projection. Despite the small size and budget price, this projector can do almost everything. You can play games on a console, watch your favorite series, by attaching a streaming stick, or mirror content from your laptop. Its LED lamp can deliver up to 5,000 lumens of brightness, and has a 3,001 contrast ratio. These features help to ensure clear and sharp media with high color accuracy. This device is fitted with an upgraded cooling system and built-in speakers. An external speaker can also be connected to the Mini Projector's 3.5 mm audio input for louder audio. For more information and price, check out the product links in description. At number 4, ViewSonic PX701 HD. ViewSonic's website touts the PX701 HD as ideal for both home and office, but it's better thought of as a home entertainment projector that can also serve for presentations, a statement that's true for almost any home projector. In truth, it's a close match to the Benk TH585, which Benk calls a home entertainment model. Like the TH585, the PX701 HD offers native 1080p resolution, a low lag time for snap responses in games, a picture mode that brightens the dark areas in game scenes to reveal hidden dangers, and another for watching movies that delivers more dramatic looking dark scenes and better contrast. It even offers the same 3500 lumen brightness rating. It's enable full HD projector choice. Built around a single 1920 by 1200 DLP chip, the projector uses only 1920 by 1080 pixels on the chip to limit its native resolution to 1080p. Its high brightness rating is due in part to its RBGCYW color wheel. The white segment lets more light reach the lens than in a projector that lacks one, making the image better able to stand up to ambient light. Unfortunately, it also tends to hurt color accuracy. The cyan and yellow panels help mitigate that tendency by improving accuracy for some colors. But note that the LP projectors designed for viewing in a dark room, such as the Bank HT 2150 ST, use color wheels without white panels, precisely because the design focuses more on color accuracy than brightness. The onboard 10 watt speaker delivers usable, if slightly tinny sound at sufficient volume, to fill a medium sized family room. If you want truly immersive sound, however, plan on using an external sound system. Halfway of my listed number 3, ViewSonic M1. Although the palm top size ViewSonic M1 Mini throws a relatively faint image, physically this projector is bright and cheery, matte white on the sides and bottom, with interchangeable top plates in gray, yellow, and teal. With a cleverly designed built-in stand, above average image quality, and a simple interface and media player, this affordable, highly portable device is a good choice as an entry-level projector for use in a family room, or while on vacation. The M1 Mini's modest brightness limits its usable image size, and it works best in a darkened room. An LED-based projector that uses Texas Instruments DLP technology, the M1 Mini has a rated brightness of a mere 50 NC lumens. It offers 854 by 480 pixel resolution, which is very common among micro projectors, at a 16-9 widescreen aspect ratio. The light source has a rated 30,000 hour lifetime, which should more than last the life of the projector. At a glance, the M1 Mini has a very typical form factor for a palm top projector, squarish when viewed from the top, and with rounded corners. Portable in the extreme, it measures 1. 1 by 4. 3 by 4. 1 inches. On the top of the projector, above the lens, is an upraised, silver-colored disc, just under an inch in diameter, with the ViewSonic name printed on it. The replaceable colored top panels each has a hole near one corner that fits around the disc, which helps anchor the panels in place. Small pegs in the cover's other three corners fit into corresponding holes in the top of the projector's frame. 
For more information and price, check out the product links in description. Coming in at number 2. Bank TH-685. The Bank TH-685 is one of a growing number of 1080p projectors that can accept 4K HDR input, downconvert the image to show at 1080p resolution, keep the HDR, and deliver a bright, highly watchable picture. Like other projectors in this category, including the Optoma GT1080 HDR and Optoma HD39 HDR, it supports HDR10, found on UHD Blu-ray discs and other recorded material. Unlike many, it also supports HLG, the emerging standard for broadcast TV. For both HDR and SDR content, it delivers good color accuracy and contrast, especially given its relatively low price. And at a rated 3,500 lumens, it's easily bright enough to deliver a satisfyingly big picture and ambient light. The color wheel's white segment lets it deliver a brighter image than you would get from an otherwise identical projector without one. However, it also affects color accuracy, which is why color wheels and projectors meant for traditional home theater in a dark room, such as the Bank HT 2150 ST, don't include white panels. The yellow and cyan segments help correct for that, with the yellow segment helping deliver brighter, more vibrant yellows than many DLP projectors can manage. At 6. 2 pounds and 4 by 12 by 9 inches, the TH-685 is easy to handle for setup. The digital image shift and 1. 3x zoom lens also add flexibility for positioning. And if you need to tilt the projector up or down, even after adjusting the shift, you can square off the image with a plus 30 degree vertical keystone control. And number 1. Anchor Nebula Mars 2 Pro. As the high-end model in Anchor's Nebula line of entertainment projectors, the Anchor Nebula Mars 2 Pro packs good brightness for a mini projector and a powerful sound system. Bulkier and with a shorter battery life than the Anchor Nebula Apollo, it's not as easily portable as that editor's choice model, but the Mars 2 Pro is brighter and has a higher native resolution, plus a more powerful sound system. It earns its own editor's choice as an entertainment mini projector. At 5. 4x4. 8 by 7 inches in weighing 3. 9 pounds, the Mars 2 Pro is larger and heavier than other entertainment projectors we have reviewed recently. Tub-like, with a matte black top and steely gray sides, it has a cloth strap to lug it around. It looks rather like a handbasket, I found myself thinking of it as Darth Vader's lunchbox. This is a higher brightness than any of the entertainment projectors we have recently reviewed, and it produces a relatively large usable image. While the 300 lumen Acer C250i portable projector can throw a usable image up to 60 inches in a dark room, the Mars 2 Pro's maximum usable size proved to be about 80 inches, and about 48 inches with the introduction of ambient light. I have included these product link in the description. You can check out this link for more information and latest price. Thank you for watching this video. Please hit the like button. Share with your friends. And be sure to subscribe.